you're going to want to know your basic network testing tools um, introductory to be able to test your network for connect for connections to see if you have connectivity to your server to see if you have connectivity to your gateway your router and um, you're gonna need to know how to use these few commands here IP config ping tracert or um, trace RT or trace route uh, NS lookup and netstat so let's run through an example of all these commands okay I'll close these windows and I'll open up a command prompt and we'll start off I can uh, make this a little bit bigger make the font a little bit bigger for you so it's easier to see okay so now that I have the font a little bit bigger I'll run an IP config and what can you learn from by running an IP config well you're gonna be able to get your IP address your subnet mask and your gateway so and this can be useful because if you've set um, your computer to DHCP client to automatically obtain this you can't see it by going to the NIC and right clicking and looking at your properties you won't be able to see what IP address you received so you need to be able to do this to find out what is my IP address okay IP address subnet mask and gateway but we don't see our um, DNS server information and we also um, there's a couple other things we can see if we put in IP config space slash all if we put in that command we can see our host name we can see our physical address right here which is our the MAC address of our NIC of our network interface card so our Ethernet card has this MAC address burned into it um, we can see that DHCP is off and that we have our subnet mask we see our gateway and our DNS server information okay and this is once again using just an XP client um, there's probably going to be a lot more information if you do this in um, there will be more information if you do it in Windows 7 or Windows Vista because you'll see IP version 6 information and you'll probably see more interfaces but this is a very simple client for this example okay so that is IP config and IP config all very useful you'll need to know those tools next ping you're going to need to know how to use a ping command to be able to test to see if you're connected on the network and mainly if you can uh, let's say uh, get a response from your uh, router so in this case I'll say ping and then I'll type the IP address of the router so I'll say the gateway 192.168 and I'll put in the IP address of my gateway and you can see here that I'm getting a reply from the gateway and that means that I have um, communications established with um, the gateway router and that's a very useful tool be able to ping a another computer on your network and see if you can um, contact them uh, ping uses the ICMP protocol and sends out an echo request and then the packets that come back are echo replies and sometimes you can have a situation where you are pinging a computer and you actually uh, have a situation where your firewall could be blocking those pings your pings your echo requests could be getting to the destination but not coming back because they could be being blocked um, another thing about ping is you can ping domain names too now when you ping a domain name there's going to need to be a do domain name server um, to be able to resolve the name so like if I ping yahoo.com this is going to test not if I can just get to my router and back but it's going to test to see if I can get all the way to Yahoo's web server and back so it's going to go across the internet of over multiple routers and to get there and then return so you can see there I can get a reply that shows that I can resolve DNS I can um, go out across the internet and come back in um, and uh, so that's pretty useful uh, a lot aside from ping we can also do a uh, trace route now a trace route will show us almost like a ping but um, much more detailed uh, as the um, as the requests for replies travel across the internet each router along the way will send a reply or send a message back and so we'll be able to see um, every router along the way send a return message so I can say ping I mean not ping trace RT or tracert and I'll do the same thing do it to yahoo.com as an example and as this um, trace command gets sent out 
over the internet you can see all of the routers or hops along the way communicating back and you can trace that here and if there's a problem in communication or breakdown you can see where at which router where did the communication break down this can be useful if you have multiple routers on your network and you want to know where which um, which router is blocking your communication okay so that's tracert alright let's see here if what else it is we wanted to cover um, NS lookup we're now going to cover to look up uh, resolve a domain name to an IP address and then netstat to look for open ports so let's do that right now okay for NS lookup we're trying to resolve a name to an IP address so you see that when we last pinged um, Yahoo or we did a trace RT or tracer to Yahoo that we got messages back but basically behind the scenes DNS was resolving those names to IP addresses well we can put in a command to find those IP addresses straight up so I can say NS lookup right name server lookup and put in a space and type yahoo.com and my DNS server that I have configured will try to uh, resolve that name and um, so it said that uh, basically at 4.1 there was no DNS server but at 50.1 we have one so there's a misconfiguration there, right, or passed it on to 50.1, and we got this reply that yahoo.com resolves to these IP addresses, all right? And we can actually change our NS lookup. We could just type NS lookup and run the program and then set a separate server for uh, to use the testing with. So I could say, um, you know, uh, server change it to 50.1. alright and it says there and then I can say resolve yahoo.com right and then there's non-authoritative answer why is it a non-authoritative answer because 50.1 is not the authority for this domain name it is not the primary DNS server for this domain name okay alright um, let's do the next one alright I'll clear that screen and last but not least Netstat. Netstat is useful for seeing whether we have listening um, TCP ports or um, connections on our system, uh, network connections established or listening or waiting on our system. So if you type netstat, let's say, dash A for all, you'll see all of the ports that this computer might have listening, you see. And so you can see here local address. This is the protocol, TCP protocol UDP this is the local address here the foreign address here and then the state whether it's listening or established so let's see if we can run some services and then watch as these um, these uh, as we make connections or have extra listening connections happening over here right you can see that we're listening on certain ports already but we want to do something cooler for the test so I'm gonna run a sample okay, FTP server and let's we'll run a um, we'll run a HTTP server. So we have a web server here, right? So I've got a web server waiting, and I've got an FTP server now active. I'll close this window, and so now if we run a netstat dash all, we should be able to see those um, servers, those ports listening on our computer, and you can see right off the bat TCP. FTP is listening and you can see here that HTTP this is port 21 listening and this is um, port 80 HTTP is also listening and pretty cool let's see if we can do that do P all right this is without um, names so I did a, a slash a n and now you can see the port numbers so you can see here that um, 21 is listening listening on 000, zero, zero meaning every uh, listening on 000, zero, zero, listening for every incoming address on port 21 because it's running an FTP server port 80 000, zero, zero listening for any incoming address on port 80 for the web server so very useful tool to see which connections are established and which are um, simply listening and which are waiting and um, network 
basically channels that your computer is communicating on.